Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. We are back in America and we're checking out Harvin's beautiful uh, HX520 here uh, by International. And we have a engine pack, which is the A26 Cummins engine as well. Both of the mods are found on the Steam Workshop. But I'll go ahead and fire it up so you can listen to it. As you can see, the truck is pretty much to the standards of any of the default trucks, which is amazing because Harvin is really, really good at doing that, making it feel like, uh, you know, it's a default truck. And we're going to go around the corner here and pick up a crane today. It's a oversized load. And we're going down to Olympia. We're in Everett, Washington right now. So that's what we have on the agenda. Happy Sunday to all of you. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. And you are ready for the week ahead. I'll get into what I've been up to and some things that have happened. <laughs> been a lot to, there's a lot to talk about on this little trip here today, so stay tuned for that. We have an automatic transmission in this truck. I wanted to you know, make it pretty much true to how it really is. I wanted to take that boat, but the boat was really, really short. It was really, really short right across the bay, actually. All right, that looks pretty good there. Let's back it on up and pick this bad boy up, shall we? I need to adjust my mirrors, I think, a little bit better. That might help us out. I don't know why this track IR cord is being real stupid today. Let's watch out. Try not to slam into the damn thing. Using those awesome Z-Mod air brake sounds, if you're wondering. I think we might be on it there. We have to be hitting that soon. There it was. We nailed it, man. Wow. All right, we're all hooked up outside. Let's go ahead and turn our flashers off and let's get going, shall we? I push our parking brake in, put this thing into gear, and let's get going. I don't think we can make it out of here to the right. No, I wasn't going to try with that boat there. So we're going to go straight here, and it's a really, really tight dock here, even with such a long trailer. So we're going to have to really watch it here. I'm going to bring this all the way to the left. This is a big, huge blind corner up here, and we're going to have to use every single bit of this little alleyway here. We don't want to hit that guy right there. We'll be okay if we just come all the way over because that's on that articulate, you know, little dolly back there. Articulated. So all the way up next to this fence and even a little closer if possible. And we got to go all the way over, and I think I have to put my left tires. I haven't done this prefab in a while. I think I have to put my left tires up all the way on that, actually, to clear this. Because this is a really long trailer. You'd be surprised. And I don't want to smash into that. So there we go. All the way over. Nope. Uh, did we hit something over there? No, we just hit the curb. I was like, man, <laughs> it's going to be close. A curb. I felt that in my motion platform. I'll tell you a little bit more about what I'm using and all that stuff here in a minute. I just want to get out of here first. This is going to be a nightmare, man. All right, now you come all the way over to the right here. We cleared that turn and then all the way back to the left. You have to like snake this thing. You see it back there. We cleared that. No problem. But that's why we had that huge like gooseneck style trailer, man. It really helps for this kind of stuff. And we have to snake it back our way. This, yep, this will work, I think. All the way to the left. <laughs> Let's roll our window down here so we can look out what we're doing here. Oh yeah, we're gonna be just fine here if we can get around this without hitting the gate. There we are. And then we need to come all the way to the right here and kind of hug this corner to make this because the thing's gonna turn like 90 degrees here. That's a tight dock, man. Oh, check it out. That Union Pacific there. We're going to talk a little bit about trains here in a minute, let me tell you, because a lot of people are asking me why I didn't do a video on the Rush Hour DLC, and I'll let you know what happened with that. Basically, it was supposed to be a sponsored video, and the whole thing fell through. And I, it kind of brings up the topic of the day and something I kind of want to talk to you all about. And that is how these... Uh, how these studios treat cre content creators. It's it was it was unfortunate. I was pretty upset about it, to be honest with you. 
Let's turn our lights on for safety, shall we? And that's the reason why the video didn't come out. Basically, what happened was I was uh, teamed up with another YouTuber and they were the train expert and they were like, you know, I was like, that's cool. I don't know that much about trains and the lines and stuff like that. So I was like, I'll, uh, I'll look forward to doing that. And I thought it would be a really cool video. That didn't end up happening because we did the video. I put about six hours into the project, uh, you know, hitting all the talking points they wanted and all that stuff and uh, everything that was included in the agreement. But then when I went to submit the video for approval, that's when things went sideways. That's when they decided they were just going to rip the video absolutely apart uh, and basically blame me for everything. And what happened was the um, person that I was doing the video with, they had a 4G cell phone service. That's it. And it was like cell phone quality audio. So there's nothing I can do about that. That's what they gave me. And they were like, well, we can't really hear him here and there. And then they were like, Please, you need to change your wording on this. Things that were outside of the agreement. The agree agreement said in there, hey, you know, say this or this or this or this, which is basically just details of the DLC. And that didn't uh, that didn't make them happy. They were like, oh, we want you to reword the this even though they told me in the agreement they wanted this said. So they wait till after I do the entire video and now we have to go in and make amendments. And this is something that these stupid studios don't understand. When you start asking to cut up a video and change this and change this, it makes it so unnatural and it breaks down the entire creative process. It's it's it becomes stupid. Like I'm like why did you why did you get a hold of me if you know what you're doing you know if you if you you know what you're doing and you are going to direct this video essentially how about you make your own you know that's how i felt about it and i had an open mind going into the project i thought it'd be cool something different for all of us here on the channel and it just didn't work out man it really didn't and they were asking me to do things outside of the agreement and i told them that i was done I, I wasn't going to uh, continue the project anymore. Um, it's unfortunate. It's just how it goes, man. But it, it, it goes to show you that this backseat YouTubing that you're going to get from uh, a company that gets a hold of you to make a video. Already what I already do. You know, I already make Train Sim World content here on the channel. I make certain videos and I make decisions on a sponsorship or a sponsored, not a sponsorship, but a sponsored video per se. Um, off of the content here on the channel and what you would expect on here. So with that being said, when they ask you to do something that's just unnatural and, and wrong, uh, it, it doesn't matter what amount of money they're going to pay you. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it at all. My integrity and everything on this channel and all the people that watch these videos here on this channel deserve better than what they were shoveling to me. And I was like, dude, you've got to be kidding me. Well, they first told me congrats on knowing what an RE20 was. Right. They knew my microphone, the RE20. Turn right. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Turn right. But then um, they were like, a Mac. They're like, the, the, uh, he has a Mac, so the audio quality's not good. They asked me to uh, basically, I don't know, fix his audio by doing EQ and all this other crap, um, which the audio source was just terrible. There's nothing I could really do about it. Uh, they didn't ask me to like redo anything. They were just like, we want you to do this or, or change this. And it's like, dude, you, you can't, you can't. And then they told me that uh, my Discord settings needed to be tweaked. <laughs> that happened. Um, and then it, it just, it got more and more insulting as time went on over this whole thing and I was like we don't deserve this we all do not deserve any of this nonsense that's just oh man we barely made that turn Woohoo! when we had a Dave turn cam there we would have been good um yards, I know left. make a left here we're gonna get on five just turn taking left. it easy here trying to get this done so 
that happened and it fell through and it's unfortunate and it sucks but bottom line is there is n there's no company that's going to come along and be like hey we're going to pay you this much money for a video doing something i already do and then absolutely destroy the creative process and any kind of like flair you want to add to a video and make it your own what did they get a hold of me for why did they get a hold why do they get a hold of a content creator if they don't want them to do what they already do professionally? I, I couldn't tell you, man. It sucks. I mean, the uh, the DLC is it's good. It's fantastic. It's like one of their best ones they've ever done. But I just don't support it. I, I don't support that company. And I can't. I can't. <laughs> and basically... They didn't even bother even to email me back. I told them, like, this is the reasons why I'm leaving. I was like, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years. This is one of the most unprofessional interactions I've ever had with a company that's trying to change what we do here on YouTube. And never even got a, the decency to get an email back on that one. So that's the reason why that video did not come out. Now, I may do it later down the road. I might actually just stream it, to be honest with you. But we'll see. I'm glad I got 515 horsepower today. We need it for this. It's actually doing pretty good. Not bad at all. I need to get in this lane over here because we're going really slow with this big old crane on the back of this thing. So that's what happened. Um, but it's okay because, you know, that happened and I was like kind of bummed about it. it there was so much time and everything wasted on uh on them they did it they they absolutely destroyed the whole thing okay get back over because this lane ends make sure we don't hit this car we're good he is slowing way down all right sunfire good right there yeah that's the jake break very quiet in this truck you don't hear very much there. I'll keep left, don't you worry. So I got a couple more sponsored videos on the way of different, uh, uh, to different games. So, you know, whenever something like that happens, it's okay. Somebody else came along was like, hey, you wanna do this? And I was like, yeah. And I'll always give them a shot, you know? I'll give any studio a shot or anybody, but they seem to really miss what, what we all do here on YouTube. They, they really miss it, and they got to treat people better than that. They really do. And, uh, you know, that's... It's sad. That's all. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to get there. We're going arrive, to arrive on time. Don't you worry. So, anywho, our friends uh, back in St. Louis, they are moving down here. They got a house pretty close to ours, actually. And so this weekend, we've been, like, getting things together for that. And then on top of that, um, Dave, you know him as Dammit Dave, he's down here with his girlfriend visiting us. He just flew in yesterday. And so he'll be down here when they move down. We're all friends, so it all works out that way. But I'm excited to have, you know, some friends living down here that are close by we can do stuff with. Um, right lane, I think. I'm gonna just hang out right here. I think that's what they want us to do. Let me get a screenshot, be right back. All right, I am back. Got a cool screenshot there. That's a good looking truck. All right, what are they doing up here? Are they slowing down? We have a way station. Are they gonna bring us in here? That's the question. And man, I know. I am so oh, weak the bypass. Sweet. Come on, car, get on the highway. Okay, you're just gonna be an idiot and do that. Okay, cool. Don't hit my trailer, please. Thank you. Um, I'm excited for Wyoming. I truly am. Wyoming's gonna be awesome. Something totally different. There was an update to the Outback map, so we're gonna go back to Australia and drive again. I wanna do a fuel run in that, but uh, Rob worked on that and made some huge changes in it. I think this is our exit. If memory serves correct, no, we're the next one over. Okay. Let's get over to the left here. Keep Thank left. you. 
Yep, coming over left. I see that car back there. I'm making sure we don't hit him. We're good now. Not going to Port Tacoma. We're going to Olympia. But I figured I'd jump in and kind of just give you guys an update on what's going on. Because there's been a couple days that I haven't had a video go out. And that's because there's just a lot of stuff going on right now. Helping out. Now, another thing that happened was our AC unit absolutely just... That was it, man. It was a Bryant's evolution system, which I hear is, you know, fantastic. I have to get over again here. Okay, I think this is going to be our exit. If this guy doesn't let us over, that's great. Another car coming. I wish we these AI would actually kind of slow down when you have your blinker on and let you over sometimes. I know it's not completely realistic, but it just would be nice. That's all. Are they going to get me in this lane? They get me back in the left lane? They better not do that. They're going to do that, aren't they? Yep. This is ridiculous. I see you back there, truck and van. Oh, I knew they were going to do that. That's super realistic, too. Oh, my God. When you're merging and you see somebody just flying over, look at that, and hitting the, the exit at the last minute, that's too realistic. I take back what I said before, for sure. Back up to speed. So, yeah, a couple days missing here and there, but we're just, you know, trying to get everything done for them and helping them out with the move. All right, this is our exit. Now we're good. Yep. We will exit right ahead. And that's that awesome Z Mods free GPS mod. Fantastic stuff. All right, what do we do? We have a light here, and I need to get in the left lane, I believe. Oh, we go straight here, okay. Where's the city center? Now, RNL carrier truck right there. I hear the train. Even doing the crossing sound, it's so cool. I love how they nailed that. And that's part of the Z mod. Another Z mods, beautiful. Free mod, the train and crossing sounds. Oh, the last thing I was going to talk about today before we get to our destination is uh, I'm going to have to get in the left lane here. I'm just going to come on over, big truck. Thank you very much. Is you guys know that a uh, buddy uh, riding with Dave over there on his channel, riding with Dave, he drove with CFI for about a, a year and a half now before he uh, ended up quitting. And he's doing something totally different. He's going out to do some adventure driving stuff and man i tell you what the comment section over there it's just it's unfortunate like the amount of people that think that uh that he's enslaved to uh to work in in the trucking industry when he was just like i'm gonna take a break and do something different with my life i re i highly respect that i'm a person like that too i'm back whenever you know I would work a job. If I hated a job man I would leave it and go do something else. There's a lot of different jobs out there. There's a lot of different things you can do and if you have an opportunity to do that, how cool is that? Oh, I realized I never changed my little international thing down here. You can hit the I key and get a digital display of the dash or the uh, speedometer there, digital speedometer. But I'm happy for him, you know? The fact that he's able to do that is cool. He's going to be doing, um, what is it called? Like Landshore or something? I, I forget the actual name. But it's like off-roading and camping and things like that. But... The amount of people that said just really hateful things to the guy. It's like, to me, I I watch YouTubers and as stuff as people because I like them. I like watching uh, that. I don't have a specific content I'm after on their channel. If I like them, I like them. If I don't, I don't. I don't watch them, you know? Uh, but the amount of people that think that they're entitled to leave terrible comments is just, you know. It's, un it, it's, it's stupid. But I just wanted to say here, uh, since I know a lot of you guys watch his stuff that I do know about it because I'm sure people are going to ask me about it or say hey did you know I, I don't I, I could care less he could you know start a lawn mowing service and I would watch his GoPro to his head because I watch him for him he's an entertaining dude and he's a great YouTuber all right let's get to these intersections man another train damn dude are we gonna make that we're gonna try we made it <laughs> 
Another train. Yep, we're gonna make a left turn right here. You best believe it. And it's a long trailer, so I'm gonna mosey on over. All right, there's pretty good. It's like that whole connection off the back of the truck to the actual trailer is like the longest part of it all. Man, it is busy through here with some trains. Still hear that damn thing. Olympia Avenue. But I'm ready for Wyoming. I want I want a new state to explore and I don't know when we're going to get Texas. Maybe at the end of the year or maybe the start of the year. I don't know. Hard to say. But that's going to be amazing. I mean, to me personally, if they get to Texas and they're like, we're done, we're going to make America Truck Sim 2 or something like that, then I would support it. Uh, getting to Texas, that's going to be so many states and so big that you aren't going to run out of things to do. You're, you're going to feel like you're driving a long time when you do that. All right, those are like just dropping off the crane right here in this building. Another Westport. So it's Westport to Westport. I would have a crane at a boat area here, but uh, who knows? I see we could have done this. We could have taken that boat that was back there, but it went across on. There's the railroad tracks. It went across the the bay there on a ferry boat, so we wouldn't have been driving this thing very much, and you wouldn't have gotten an idea of what to expect from this truck. But it's free, man. Going right over there. Turn right. Just gotta make sure we don't smash into anything here. We're not going through there, thank you. You have reached your destination. Yes, we have. We can see right there. We're making right around that corner. We're gonna come right up to this little Honda Accord. Not hit him. Watch that turn there. We're good. Gonna hit. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna get a little bit of grass there, but that's okay. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. I love that little window back there. That's a that's a nice little addition. Yeah, we were fine on that. No problem at all. Okay, and then cut it to this side. Yep, there's another boat there you can take. Very cool. Make sure we don't hit this car over here. Oh, we'll be fine right there. Let's just get this thing straightened out. It won't take much to straighten the trailer out once we are good there. Pull all our windows down here. Why not? More left here. That we might be all right. It's gonna be real close, I'll tell you that. It's taking it. There's another crane right there in front of us, so I guess it is normal for them to move cranes between these two cities. There we go. They're happy with it. Nice. Time to unload it. Let's see what we ended up getting here. We got a job completed. Excellent. There you go. 106 miles. Uh, three hours, 35 minutes, 22 gallons of fuel consumed. Not too shabby. Well, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And thank you to Harvin for putting out amazing free mods like this. It's it's fantastic. And it's cool to have another truck here in the, uh, in the garage. So that'll do it. See you next time. Take care. I often get asked, Jeff, do you have any merch? And the answer is yes. You can check out the link in the description or you can just click right here on this video and it will take you to the merch store. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it, guys.